What's up guys, Inigami here, and this is the Jinbei fight on the World Clash. Remember, you're going to get three random fights for this first day, so whichever one of those three, hopefully uh, you get one of mine, so that way I can make a guide for you. Otherwise, the other two guides are going to come out later. I do have a document in the video description down below that will have all the fight details for you if you want to find one of those yourself. Otherwise, Facebook, Reddit, Discord, we've all got teams going around there, so check those out. We're going to be using a net... Uh, a Magellan team for this team as our free-to-play fight. It's uh, it's not the best team, but it works. You're, uh, we're really gonna be using four points boosters. All our subs are points boosters, so the rest of the characters aren't points boosters. So you want to have level five heal per turn. Everything else doesn't really matter. Our blue character doesn't matter at all. Totally replaceable. In fact, the characters we want are the Sabo. And the Garp and Barto Captain and Magellan Friend Captain. Magellan Friend Captain is doing all the work here. Everyone else is just to look good. So um, we're going to pass this first and second turn, first and second stages, getting as much recovery as we can. And while we're doing this, let's just talk about the uh, treasure map or the uh, not treasure map, the world class event in general. If you are looking for points, you really want to try to, or if you're looking for score and you're a free-to-play player, aiming for Sabo or Jinbei are probably the best bets for you because Sabo and Jinbei are Psy and Int, so people aren't going to be stacking their points boosted Akainu, Blackbeard, and Luffy on their teams like they can for the other three fights. So if you look at the scores right now, Luffy, Sabo, and Akainu scores are way higher, way, way, way higher, like three to four times higher than Sabo or Jinbei. Not because those fights are easier, but because you can easily use a team with like four 1.75 times points boosters if you have them all on your team. So those players with the mad cash are the players who got lucky enough to get two th or even three of the treasure map. Oh my gosh, I'm going to say that a lot. Of the... World Clash points boosted characters are going to have a much easier time on those different versions. So here we're going to use uh, Shidu on turn 2 so that way we can kill the guy in the back. That will make it easier. This first turn we're just going to pass looking for recovery herbs next turn. Jinbei is going to lock target on the back dude. and He's also going to boost our orbs by 175 which is nice. After he attacks we're going to use Shidu now so that way we get two attacks that we're going to reduce from Jinbei. We'll be able to reduce this attack and then the third or the other attack because he attacks every other turn. Every other turn, yep. And now we're going to attack and just look for some recovery orbs. We want to use Sabo so that way we can get our damage past 300,000 so that way our Magellan will poison Jinbei. Yeah. Which will give us another 100,000 damage per turn. Just a nice little damage boost. Makes it a little bit easier. Another turn of Sabo attacks. Poke, poke, poke. You can also use your Kizaru if you're bringing him like I am. Just to increase your damage for a turn. Certainly can't hurt. I'm going to kill him as fast as we can. Might be able to kill him next turn, actually. We'll see. If we get some good orbs, we might be able to kill him. I don't think so. I take it back. I think we're taking a hit here. If we can kill him in two turns, great. If not... That's fine. Ooh, 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 ooh. Poison! Noise! Yeah, save myself from taking a, an attack there. And this stage, we're just gonna kill like normal. Nothing special here. here. We don't really need to stall for specials. We're not gonna be using another special again, or the other specials again here, so... Time to go into the final stage. Final stage, Jinbei has 12 million hit points! Yeah, the highest hit point of the other fights so far. He's going to give us all badly matching orbs, lock our chain to 1.23 times for three turns. But we're going to use Magellan to toxic him. We're going to use Garp to cut his health. And then after that, we're done. We just pass the turn. We don't have to worry about things anymore. If your health even thinks about getting low, you can use Bartow to heal back up. But we won't need to. He's not even going to hurt us enough. His pass turn, let the health cut, let the toxic do its work. As our health gets low, we can use Bartow. To heal back up. Once again, we shouldn't need it. We have so much health. Take another hit. Boom, boom. And then whenever he dies, he's going to blow away both of our captains. But that's not going to matter. Because as our captains get blown away, 
we're going to ha like the toxic's just gonna kill him anyways. So he's dead. Next turn, he can't even attack us anymore. He dies. He revives. He heals up to 240,000 hit points, which isn't too much, but he does blow away both your captains. There's a lot of specials that will just kill him right here after revive, including Garp's special ability. But he's toxic. He's gonna die to toxic. There you go. Nice team. Safe team. Not the fastest, but it does do this very easily and very consistently. You can take a lot of hits on stage 3. You don't even need to use uh, Shiryu in order to kill that guy. You can just attack him over a few turns. A lot of replacements on this team. Just make sure you have your Magellan friend captain's captain ability active because he's going to do all the heavy lifting for this team. In fact, I guess we can use a 5 person to use your uh, 5... No, nah. Stick to, the, stick to the Bartow captain. He gives you a lot of health. I've been Zinigami, guys. More teams after this. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck getting that world clash down. And y'all stay beautiful.